This is the lens on a 4 inch by 5 inch camera. It is photographing a beautiful flower whose name I cannot recall properly. And I've loaded it with a very specific kind of paper called cyanotype paper. That paper is in the back of this camera right now and the exposure is being made as we speak. The piece of paper that's in the back is roughly the size of this one in my hand right here. And it's pretty much right where I'm showing you. It's, it's in the back of the camera right there. And when it comes out, we will pull it out. And if we're lucky, when we develop it, we'll see an image. It'll look different from that. And I've put a time-lapse GoPro on top of this camera so we can watch the exposure happen in quasi real time. I think I'll be quiet for this process and we can maybe play some nice music. Coming out of our time lapse, it's now been 12 full hours. Let us take a look at our resulting exposure, if any. I'm doing this one handed, so just a second while I wrangle a few things and try not to jostle anything. We have an image. We have a faint, latent image. It is not developed yet. In fact, looking at this, we aren't going to get anything out of development. So I'm just going to digitally process it right now. First we're going to turn it around 180 degrees and then I'm going to apply an inversion effect to bring the colors and reverse them. And now we can see an image. It looks like roughly what we were photographing. I'm just going to adjust the colors a little bit and then desaturate things so it's almost like a black and white photograph. And that's basically what a black and white photograph is. Except in the end a black and white photograph would be relatively permanent and this exists only in this digital form because the exposure was so faint that if I were to process this cyanotype, it would wash away entirely, leaving me a blank page. But for the meantime, we can digitally enjoy it and that's more than satisfactory to me as an experiment. Thank you for joining this experiment.